Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Sarah Hoover, and I'm the Metadata and Scholarly Publishing Librarian at the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. Today, we'll be briefly talking about the Himmelfarb Library's Researcher Profile Audit Service. Our videos are publicly available and licensed under a CCBY NCSA Creative Commons license although some of the resources discussed in this series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to library resources. Let's get started. So what is a researcher profile? A researcher profile is simply a system or database that connects you to your scholarly research output. Research output can include things like journal articles, conference posters, presentations, peer review activity, and more. Some of the most common systems include ORCID, Publons, Scopus, Google Scholar, ResearchGate, and others. So why are there so many researcher profiles and why are they important? Personal identifiers are invaluable in helping differentiate your research from the work of other scholars. Because of this potential value, major publishers like Elsevier and tech giants like Google have each developed their own system. Over time, the bulk of systems is likely to centralize, but for the time being, there are a number of time-saving tricks that can help you maximize the potential of all systems. Researcher profiles are ultimately important for a number of reasons. They help you to disambiguate your work from other researchers with similar names. They help you to comply with funder mandates. They allow you to track publications as you change affiliations and they demonstrate your research impact for promotion and tenure purposes. So why would one need a profile audit? There are a number of reasons an audit could potentially be helpful. First, navigating multiple systems can be challenging and time-consuming. Second, you may have multiple profiles in a single system that should be merged so that people see the full scope of your research. Also, some profiles can be linked to maximize time management. Linking Scopus and ORCID profiles, for example, can help automate the process of updating publication lists. Most importantly, an external audit can give you time to focus on what you do best, your research. To help with researcher profile management, the Himmelfarb Library is offering a free service to GW Medicine, Health Sciences, Nursing, and Public Health faculty to audit existing profiles. Using this service, librarians will perform an audit of your profiles and send a detailed report of findings and recommendations to improve your profiles. To use this service, simply go to the library website and click on Services or complete the form at the following URL. To access the service from the library website, start by going to himmelfarb.gwu.edu. Click on Services and then click on Researcher Profile Audit Service. Click on Submit an Audit Request and complete the form for your chance to do an audit. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the short video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see others like it, please visit our video library at the following link. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or about publishing and highlighting your research, don't hesitate to contact me at shoover at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.